Hi everyone! Today's video is a viewer request for how to cook up Bear Creek's darn good chili mix in the Instant Pot. I've preheated my 6 quart pot and now I'll add a pound of lean ground beef. This was 85.15 here, but you could go leaner. If you go fattier, you may need to pour off excess fat after this browning step. Also some onions and peppers to soften up at the same time. I'm using jalapenos here, but you can use a bell pepper if you want it mild, or add some serranos or Thai bird chilies if you want it spicier. So after about 7 minutes and a few stirs, the meat should be fully browned and the veggies nice and soft. That's when you add garlic and any added seasonings and cook for no more than another minute. Any longer than that and you risk scorching the garlic which makes it bitter. 3 cups of beef broth, or use water if you want to cut back on sodium. Make sure to fully deglaze the bottom of the pot during this step. We always want to make sure nothing is stuck to the bottom so that we don't get a burn warning later. Now we layer the Bear Creek mix over the top. It's important not to stir up the bottom of the pot from this point on. This mix has cornstarch and other thickeners that can clump and stick to the bottom of the pot before it has a chance to come to pressure. So we only want to spread the mix out and press down into the liquid. The last layer is a can of undrained diced tomatoes over the top. Fire roasted is a favorite for me, but any flavor will work here. Again, just spreading it around without stirring. This will cook on high for 5 minutes, followed by a 10 minute natural pressure release. All of the beans are already cooked and the rice is parboiled, so that's plenty of time. Whew, smells like chili in here. Always taste and adjust seasoning if needed, but this was already perfect for me. I'm pretty impressed with this Bear Creek. I usually set out a toppings bar so we can pick and choose how we want our chili. I like it with a few freshies to brighten it up and a glop of sour cream. But it's great with just crackers and tortilla chips too. What you see here is what we had for dinner that night. Lunch for a couple days later in the week involved repeats and supplemental rice. By the way, this was so much tastier the next day. But then again, aren't all stews and chilies? Thanks to the viewer who requested this, I'm glad I bought a second bag so now I can make another batch again soon. As always, the ingredients and instructions are written out below in the description box. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment if there are any recipes you'd like to see us try. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.